size. You'll need a piece of paper, a plastic bag or aluminum foil, scissors and tape if you have them, markers, a spray bottle of water, or water and a paintbrush. Cut your aluminum foil to the size that you'd like. Foil has a matte side and a shiny side. We want to use the shiny side. You can tape down your foil so it doesn't move around while you work. Now we're ready to add our design. I'll start by adding a dot in the middle. You want to add plenty of ink to your aluminum foil. Now you can add another circle. Make sure to leave some space in between your circles so your markers don't bleed together as you work. You can repeat with as many circles as you'd like to add to your design, making sure to leave space in between each one you add. Let's get printing. Take your sheet of paper and cut it to size. Now you're going to spread water over the surface of your paper. You just want to get the surface damp, not too wet. Once the paper is damp, flip it over and place it on top of your marker design. Use your hands to rub the back of the paper. Once you're finished, you can peel the paper back to pull your print. If you're using a spray bottle instead, just spritz the paper lightly, spread the water with your hand, and repeat the same process. If you don't have aluminum foil, you can also use a plastic zipper bag. Try it multiple ways. You can keep pulling as many prints as you'd like. Once dry, you can cut them out. You can even glue them down to a separate sheet of paper and create a design with your dots.